Hey everybody, it's Angel, and right off the bat, I'm just gonna come out and say it, the Manny that I am about to show you is not particularly exciting. But what is exciting is I used a bunch of brand new nail art products to get this look. So I didn't wanna do some sort of crazy technique, I just wanted to focus on these new products for you guys. So let's get super pumped for this really boring Manny. For my base coat, I brought out my good friend OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. On my ring and pinky nails, I'm using Color Club Harp on it, which is a silver linear hollow, and I've used this polish before, and I'm pretty sure in the video I said something like, yes, this is a very pretty polish, but it's not super unique. It's just a silver hollow like we've seen five billion other times, but after using it again, I'm gonna take that back. This is a great polish. I think this is now my favorite silver hollow polish. It just has so much fire in it and the formula is really great. You only need two coats for full opacity even though it's probably like 95% opaque on that first coat. If you're looking for a basic silver hollow polish, I definitely recommend Harp on it. And for the rest of my nails, I used Spirit of the Moors from A England. And does anybody else just wanna say, Ah, England, I feel like that just sounds so much fancier. But anyways, this is described as a bright blue hollow polish. Now, does it contain hollow shimmer? Yes, it does. Is it gonna be a super linear hollow? No, but in the sun I saw a little bit of a hollow shimmer. So if you're expecting some like, you know, amazing in your face, hollow rainbow, you're not gonna get that. But this is a super, pretty polish. I reached full opacity at two coats and I could totally see this in some 4th of July nails. It's really pretty. Then I did a little cleanup with 100% acetone and my favorite cleanup brush, the number six brush from Twinkle Tea. And then I admired my work. I loved the way these two polishes look together and harp on it. You have my heart. It's official. I love this polish. And now for the exciting stuff, the stuff you actually came to this video for. This is the brand new Extra Large Clear Stamper from Twinkle Tea. It is a closed end clear stamper and it comes with one stamping head and I'd call it like a medium firm squishiness. And it comes with its own cap and a scraper and you wanna know what the best part is? It's only six bucks. Yes, six bucks for a clear stamper, great deal. And the next product I'm gonna be testing out is the brand new Lace Liquid Latex from Twinkle Tea. And I was super excited to finally get to test this out because it was probably months ago now Twinkle Tea mentioned to me that they had this in the works. So, finally, it's here for me. And as you can clearly see, this was inspired by mermaids going by this color. I'm a mermaid, so this is perfect for me. I wish you guys could have seen my big goofy smile as I was applying this. Actually, I was really that excited. It goes on really nice and smooth, and I'm really digging the color. I really like the brush because it's not a thick brush. Now, I'm not talking about the width of the brush, I'm talking about the thickness. Sometimes I find that liquid latex brushes, they're too thick, and it just, I don't know, gives for a funky application. But this went on really, really nicely, and I only needed to do a thin coat, and I would say that they probably dried in like, Mm, I wanna say 45 seconds. So it was nice and quick drying. And yes, this liquid latex has the ammonia smell. I know some people don't like that, but it's important to note that ammonia added to a liquid latex formula helps it from gumming up and solidifying in the bottle, so it'll help your product to last longer. And for my stamping plate, I'm gonna be using, yes, a, another new product. This is the Uber Chic Uber Mini Texturalicious texture Number Two Plate. So first I decided to test out and see if Spirit of the Moors was a good stamping polish and no, it's not a good stamping polish. Why did I think that? It was so sheer, so no. Then I decided to try out Gumption from KO Polish to see if it would work as a stamping polish, mostly because I was too lazy to go grab an actual stamping polish. But hey, surprise, surprise, it worked pretty good over this lighter base color. It probably wouldn't work over a darker color. Okay, and now we can see if the brand new stamper works. And yes, it does, it works great. It transferred, but oh my God, what am I, an amateur? Do you see how I completely misstamped this? Like, what is the matter with me? It's like I've never stamped before. So this is not a fault of the stamper. I was actually 
doing my nails right before I was going to a wedding. Like I started doing this video an hour and a half before I had to leave. Like what am I crazy? So, <laughs> so I didn't have time to take off the nail and start again. So then I decided to see if I could just stamp on a little bit more of that pattern, but watch what I did. Do you see that? I completely dug the stamper into my nail because I was trying to work too quickly. So since I was in a rush, I got the brilliant idea. Okay, I could just I could just paint over that with a little striping brush and some more of the silver polish. No, it it didn't look right. It looked it looked pretty bad, but there was nothing I could do at this point. But then, because this is turning into a comedy of errors, after I covered up that little bit, I like smacked my nail on something and I made another dent. I covered this one up off camera, but as you can see, this nail is looking really rough. I was just hoping and praying that the top coat would cover it up. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Okay, so here is where I redeem myself with the nail gods and I actually stamp a nice image. As you can see, this stamper works great. It picks up nicely and it transfers nicely and the best part about it is it's only $6. Okay, so now it's time to see how the liquid latex peels. Everybody pay attention. Oops, <laughs> I accidentally let go of the liquid latex, but it peeled beautifully. You wanna see it again? But here's my super janky nail and we can see how it peels and it peeled pretty good so i'm gonna give it a thumbs up so far and i'm going to definitely keep testing this out and i'm looking forward to see how it works when i do a gradient and here's a little more cleanup on my busted ass nail and i can't believe i went to a wedding like this i am a terrible terrible person and then to gloss these babies up, I added a nice generous coat of liquid macro top coat. And I was really hoping that the top coat was going to cover up the mess I made of my ring nail. And it just, I mean, you couldn't see it from a distance. Like, you know, when I was at the bar at the wedding, no one was like, oh my God, your nails are disgusting. Actually, I got about three comments from random strangers asking me if my nails were fake nails. I was like, <gasps> how dare they? Like, are you gonna ask if my boobs are fake too? So rude. Okay, <laughs> this, that's no shade at people who have false nails. I actually love the way false nails look, particularly really long coffin shaped nails. I love those. So that completes this extremely boring nail tutorial. I hope you learned nothing. I don't even want you to subscribe. Just kidding, please subscribe. So what did we learn? We learned that the new lace liquid latex from Twinkle Tea is pretty great. Their extra large clear stamper stamps beautifully. A England is still making gorgeous polishes even though my only other one is from like five years ago. And Uber Chic is still killing it with their stamping plate releases. I recommend you guys go check them out because they just dropped like I want to say it was like 10 brand new stamping plates. Their unicorn plate is amazing. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of these new nail products. Are you going to purchase anything? Is anything calling your name? And if you want to talk a little bit more, you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at twy underscore star. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Uh, bye bye